And welcome back to the sixth and final instalment of my Norway fishing adventure. Thank you so much for the support thus far. Uh, the trip has been and the experience has just been amazing. We've had some great fishing. The weather has been fantastic. So everything's come together to produce, well, the series. And I couldn't have been happier with it, to be honest. The weather has also been ridiculously good for Norway. So yeah, everything has gone in our favour. Thanks again for support up until this point. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, head to the playlist Norway on my YouTube channel and you can catch up on all the episodes there. So the final episode, we're back on the coast in search of dams and place as I wasn't successful on the previous day. So join us for one final go at it. Thank you again. Hello, welcome back for Day seven, or day six, yeah, day seven of my Norwegian fishing tour. Thanks for watching so far, if you've got this far in the series. Today we are again targeting place. It is absolutely baking today, as you can see, I'm in a hat and t-shirt. Um, it's gonna be like 16 degrees later on this afternoon. It's already roasted in the sun. And this point that we've come to is like no wind either. So, sun cream instead of a thermals today. And this particular fjord, or this particular area, sorry, no one's fished before. So we found a little mark that looks good that we think there might be a few fish in and we're just gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna get the first bait out. I'm gonna go sm slightly smaller hooks because we think there might be some place here. Um, so again, I'm gonna go scale down the tackle a little bit, still keeping sort of 80 pound breaking strain snoods just in case you get something decent like I did yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get some baits out and see what happens, that's usual. The second, put the first one out, it's just a normal panel. This one, my trusty old wishbone that I had the cod on yesterday. You'll see photos, my GoPro ran out of battery, which is absolute, it's just the way it is, isn't it, really? So I haven't done this much before in any of the previous videos but on this day I got a nice amount of time just to record the rods, listen to the sound of running water and just sit back and relax really in a peace and quiet. So I'm going to leave this up for a couple of minutes and just take yourself off to Norway for a couple of minutes and relax.
Đấy. Cái gì vậy? Cái gì vậy? Cái gì vậy? Unfortunately the fishing was fairly slow at that mark, we had a few bites but nothing developed so we decided to move back to the coast where we were fishing the other day but at a slightly different location to see how we got on. We're at the second mark now, it's even sunnier than the last hence this, it's actually really hot and uh, I'm a bit worried about getting absolutely burnt to buggery today but We'll be alright. Um, yeah, rods are out. It's shallower here for sure. The drop is nowhere near as deep. But this is, should be fine for place. So hopefully we can get one. John had one yesterday, which was not too far from it. It's the same area as we were fishing. The techniques are the same as yesterday. We're using wishbones and pulley pop-ups. Nothing special, but we've scaled down the rigs just so they're a bit more place friendly even though they've got huge mouths and they'll still take a, a tenno if it's big enough um, so yeah we will persevere and i'll keep you updated i'll get the drone up in a minute so you can have a nice look around and yeah i'll be back So it's been pretty slow today, unfortunately. The weather's been amazing, but um, unfortunately there has been no fish. John had a little coddling earlier at the other mark. This one had a few bites, but nothing come of it. But it's been a glorious day anyway, so really can't complain to be honest. Obviously, we've had a few fish this week. I've achieved a lot of what I wanted to set out to do when I was here so I'm pretty happy with that to be honest it's just the place have eluded me this time I had two last time what a better place to blank it's mild it's like 14 15 degrees Scenery is amazing, the company's better, and uh, I'm not at work, so, well, 
would class that as a win. Go in. Just in the car. I've got to get it up through. Once I go above the stalk. It's all good. And you're in the form. I don't think this is a flat, you know. <laughs> They're nodding. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Just up. Yeah. Little Coddy. There's something. And that is it. We finished our <coughs> expedition to the coast in search of place. Uh, John had one yesterday. It's been pretty dire today. A few coddling have been caught. I've blanked uh, for the first time this trip. So that's not too bad. Um, but it's been a glorious day anyway. You'll see the footage. Thanks for tuning in. Look at this place. Stunning. So it's been an honor really. Um, shame about the fish, but it has been just a beautiful day. So we'll see you on the next one. Well, what can I say? This series has been an absolutely amazing experience for me. It was a pleasure filming in this beautiful country. We were blessed by the weather. We were blessed by fish. There's nothing more I could really ask for. Even a day where I didn't catch anything, I absolutely loved it. So once again, thank you so much for the support. If you have missed any episodes, you should know what to do by now. And well, I can't wait to get back out to Norway and try and catch a true leviathan. Thanks again, have a good one.